Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, I've been on YouTube for seven years, and honestly, you guys know basically everything about my entire life. But, there's ghosts in here, but there may be a few stories that you guys do not know about me. Yeah! And just as a forewarning, I'm a great liar. So you guys are gonna have to find out which of these stories are true and which ones are lies. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit the notification bell, and good luck. Believe it or not, I actually used to not be able to ride dirt bikes. So, dirt bikes is one of the funnest things I've ever done. I love riding dirt bikes, I love going out riding trails, even just coming out here and riding for hours just on this track because it's just so much fun. But, they also can be pretty dangerous and uh, very, very hot. When I was, um, I think I was 13 years old, I think it was on my 13th birthday, I got my dirt bike. Not this dirt bike, but my very first ever dirt bike. And I had never ever ridden one before. So, I needed to learn a few things. So, I asked my uncle Jared for some help and to, uh, well, teach me how to ride a dirt bike because I actually literally had no clue how to do it. So, me and him, we, out, we went out to the property and I was on the front, he was on the back, and he was teaching me a few things to ride a dirt bike. And then disaster struck. So, <laughs> while I was on the bike, and those of you who have like ridden dirt bikes before, or even a pedal bike, I don't know why this was so hard for me, you do on a pedal bike too, but you lean into your turns. You don't lean away from your turns, and you definitely don't just turn the wheel. And uh, that's exactly what I did. So we were riding around, and uh, Jared told me to just make a right turn, like just turn right. And what I did was this. I'm supposed to lean this way so I can turn right because the bike has to lean this way for you to turn. And I just went like this. My body basically went left. Jared was leaning right. And what happened was the bike fell on me like this. Fell all the way down and landed on top of my leg. So. We fell over and the bike was pinned on top of both of us because fell on top of us, Jared was trying to go this way, I'm this way, and our weight was on the bike and both of us were stuck. And we were stuck there for quite a long time because we we were like almost like spaghetti around it. Like Jared had one leg over on this side and had one leg underneath, but all of his weight was still on top of the bike and all my weight was under the bike. So the bike <laughs> was just laying on top of me and on the other bike there's an exhaust pipe right here and uh, when dirt bikes are running and the bike was definitely still running uh, the exhaust pipe and motors are very very hot and uh, I ended up burning the crap out of my leg on the exhaust pipe and I still have a scar from it and so does my bike I think some of my skin is left on the bike and that's my story and I'm sticking to it Razor's looking nice. I'm banned from this razor. My dad banned me from ever riding it again. And I'm sure you want to know why. And that brings me to the next story. As you guys can probably see by just my height compared to this thing in general, and I'm not super tall, this thing is meant for much smaller people. And uh, me, who's not a super small person, and another friend who's also not a super small person, we decided to go take this thing out drifting. All right, so this thing tops out at probably, if you're lucky and going downhill, 40 miles an hour. <laughs> and uh, we went out to that road and we were just drifting around the corner repeatedly. Me and my friend who was sitting right here, we were throwing this thing around at full speed. Like we were trying to drift it as far as we possibly could, going as fast as we possibly could. Like we were doing it so many times repeatedly. We actually had two other friends filming us drifting around like a ton. And then um, we were going as fast. We decided we we're just gonna go all in. And we're going from way back there and we're just gassing it all the way to the end of the road to where the turn is. And then we got to the end and just yanked it. Like full on, as far as this wheel can turn, we just yanked it and we were, I don't even, it was probably at least 35 miles an hour. And it's just a left hand turn and we start drifting around and boom. These tires catch, like they get like um, parallel and 
we go boop, rolled, hit the side, went over the top, and then ended up on this side. So we turn left, so we are falling this way. It hits, hits, rolls, and ends up on the front this side. And we did a lot of damage with that. We destroyed basically this entire back frame down here, the wheels, and even the road. And my dad was not very happy about that. But somehow, luckily, both of us were completely fine. So yeah, I'm definitely not gonna be driving that thing anytime soon. So at our house, we kind of have like a uh, wasp problem, like a really, really bad one. There was wasps all over the place. Like on our black fence around the whole pool, like inside of each pole is like a whole hornet's nest. And the whole playground, we can't even like go on it because it's just <laughs> so bad. Like there's nests all up inside any crevice that you can get. And there's like, look, I count like three wasps just looking at one spot. Like there's wasp nests inside of those green things. Like I don't even know how, but there's wasp nests inside of them. And so you, uh, I don't really want to, but if you kick a pole, a bunch of wasps will just go flying all over the place. Hey, 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 hey. And uh, my mom has been uh, really wanting me to take care of this and like spray them all down, but I am deathly afraid of wasps for one specific reason. And that's because I was stung by a wasp on my And I'm sure all of you have heard the story of Peter Parker, AKA Spider-Man, you know how he's bit by a spider and he got all these powers and stuff? Yeah, that's gonna be me. Cause I was stung in a very tender <laughs> place. And so I'm just waiting for my superpowers to come in. And to be honest, I think they will because this wasp that stung me was blue. So I'm pretty sure it's radioactive. So I'm kind of hoping for like a few really like good powers, you know? Like, you know, you know, like the like Hulk. So I'll get I'll get like super strength. I'll be able to fly probably, because I think wasps can fly. And like I'm sure Ant-Man and the Wasp can take another person to the team. I I get that she already has the wasp as a name, but we can just change her to the bee and I'll be the wasp, you know? And um it wasn't a uh, very fun experience, but when I became I'm a superhero, remember this story. For this next story, it involves a truck, a dump run, and some really good impressions of Superman. So when I was about, I think it was 10 years old, my grandpa and my dad had a full truckload of garbage that they were going to the dump for. And uh, I really liked going to the dump because I liked just watching them throw the things off the edge and I just I just really wanted to go with them. So I asked my grandpa and my dad, hey, can I go on the dump run with you? And my grandpa, jokingly by the way, but I didn't know it, said, yeah, hop in the back. So I went back there, and my grandpa did not know that I went back there because he was talking to my grandma at the time. So I went to get in the back, grabbed here, took one step, and that's when it happened. And uh, my grandpa, showing off to my grandma, gassed it down the street not knowing I was here. So all I could do is grab on for my life. So while I was holding on and he was gassing it, I went straight up horizontal like Superman and my grandma and mom were screaming. So when my uh, grandpa heard this, and I'm hanging on probably like this at this point, barely holding on, he slams the brakes, and I go boom, right into the back of this, and just started rolling. And the moment my mom and grandma got here, the only thing I could say was, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, because I didn't even feel anything yet because of the adrenaline, but it was very scary. For this next story, we have to change locations. You're probably wondering how I got into this position. Well, let's rewind a few months. So basically, a while back, me and some of my friends, we were hanging out and just like messing around, and we decided that we were gonna go to the gas station and just buy a bunch of snacks and drinks so then go back and hang out again. Me and my friends, we can get a little uh, crazy when we're all together, like loud, obnoxious, doing tons of goofy, crazy things. And so going to this uh, gas station may not have been the smartest choice. So we were in there and there's probably, maybe, probably like almost 10 of us in there, maybe a little bit less than 10 of us. And we're just, messing around, we're talking, we're laughing, making jokes, getting the snacks. But there was one bag left of a specific uh, flavor of sunflower seeds, and both of my friends, like two of the friends, they both wanted that bag. And you can guess what happened. They were pulling back and forth on it, and it ripped from the bottom, and it went whoosh all over the place, which is 
obviously not great. And um, it, it was it was like it covered like an entire aisle in that gas station. It was so messy, and we did feel kind of bad about it. It was funny and we were laughing about it, but we also, like the worker lady came over and she was probably already so upset at us because we were just so loud and noxious. A bunch of us were like looking at sunglasses and stuff and just like messing around, just all sorts of tons of stuff. And she walked over and she's like, all right, we'll clean it up, we'll clean it up. Just give us like a broom and like somewhere to put it and we'll, we'll clean it all up. And the lady's like, no, no, it's fine. And this is some younger girl. She's like, no, no, I'll clean it up, it's okay. And we're like, no, 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 we insist. So we actually cleaned it all up and we paid for it and the rest of our snacks, and we left. And so we went to school the next day because night was over, we all went to bed, we had school the next morning. So we go to school, and in like my second period class, I get called down to the office and I'm like, oh no, what is it? And they could have been a ton of different things. I've been called down to the office to get like letters and whatever else that they wanna give me. But I go down there and I am met with three gigantic, like very strong, scary looking cops. And so they sat me down and laid out a bunch of security camera pictures and made me and like try to get me to tell them exactly who was in all those pictures. And those uh, surveillance camera pictures were definitely of me and my friend group in that gas station. So I guess the manager really, really did not like us being in there and called the cops. And long story short, they didn't believe my story. They didn't believe that we cleaned everything up and we paid for everything because we're a bunch of teenage boys, so why would they believe us? And they took me to the police station. This police station, actually, and my parents had to come pick me up later that night. That was a very scary day. So, uh, I'm actually an Advent player of uh, Call of Duty, and I'm actually so good. I've gotten a few sponsors, you know, FaZe, they want me, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they've been, like, begging me, but, like, I just I was feeling YouTube instead of, like, casual competitive gaming, you know? And I actually have a uh, KD of 3.75. 3.75. That's 3.75. That's really good, but what? Hey, 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 don't, what hey, does that hey, say, hey, right? Hey, don't show, hey, don't show that, don't show that. Right, right. Hey, hey, hey move, hey, move. What does that? What does that say no, right no, there? Is that no. a point eight? That's my point eight with pistols. Uh, I don't think so. So, um, for this next story. This one's actually pretty funny. There was this one time, me and my friends, we were like messing around, around and we like, we were playing like a game and there's basically like two teams of us and uh, it was like all over the neighborhood. So we um, actually kidnapped one of my friends from one of the other teams and we brought him in here in the Sodi Shack and we didn't know what to do with him because we were trying to get like a ransom. Like I don't, it wasn't even like a real ransom because I mean, what, what are we gonna get from him? <laughs> but we tried to like get a ransom from his friend and stuff. And so what we did is we said that if his teammates came and saved him, he wouldn't have to clean up the whole soda shack. But his teammates never came. So me and my team, we ended up forcing him to clean up this entire soda shack. Otherwise we uh, wouldn't let him leave. And yeah, that's what happened. All right, for this part right here, we had to come to the soda shack because you see, you see these little swing things right here and how they have like almost like a little seat you can sit in like this. So what me and my friends did one time, if I can get in here, is you open this thing up and it becomes like a uh, cocoon type. And um, we put one of my friends in here. There was four of us and it swings all the way up and okay, okay, I'm not even on it. Ah! <laughs> and you swing like this, right? And we're in this cocoon, so you can't fall out like this. This is a little scarier. But um, we're in these cocoons, and we start just jumping up and throwing them down and launching them as high as we could. And we got to the point that these things, which it was scary because they're, they're creaking because it's like flying so hard so fast. We got to the point, we were touching the ceiling. Like if we reached our hand out, we could touch the roof. That's how like high we were launching each other up there. And that thing's high too. It was like all the way over by that like light, maybe even a little bit farther, and we were launching them. That was fun. Moral of the story, nobody got hurt. Everyone got home safely. There wasn't even any bruises, but it was pretty dang fun and a little scary. Well guys, that's all the stories I got for today. So make sure you guys subscribe, give me a big thumbs up. And also, comment down below which stories you think are true and which ones are lies. And out of the ones that are true, which one you think is the craziest story. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.